Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here at Dingarth. We have Tuka uh, to talk to the leader of the whole Buldan, which looks to be over here, which has apparently seen um, proof or given proof of the soldiers that have gone missing not being deserters. They weren't not you know, running away, They're actually being captured from inside here. So we're going to find out about that today. Uh, before that, we do have our Hobbit gift of the day and of the week. So we're going to have a look at those quickly. So for our silver, we are going to get 200 figments of splendor and 200 virtue experience. That's not amazing, especially since I think we are quite high up on that. 4,000 now. Uh, I thought we had more, but I guess not. Uh, so we've got 4,000 of that. 200 virtual experience, which is pretty good. But that's not really too useful for me. But I'm sure for other characters I can use it. And our gold is going to be another 100 virtual experience and an assortment of dwarven candles. Kind of seems like a bit of a waste for a gold present. Um, but, yeah... Okay, um, something else I did is in between episodes, I finally did an epic battle, so we do have some gear to go along with that, so I'm just going to quickly do that. I cleared out my inventory a teeny bit, so I got rid of some uh, most of the stuff that was uh, uh, deconstructible, except for this helmet. Um, we should probably switch over to it, but I do lose like a lot of fate, and I do lose vitality. Um, I probably should though, switch over to it, but I'm kind of hoping we get a new... Um, helmet soon but we do have a gift of rohan a quarter of master's reward and a quarter of master's fine reward uh, or armaments because um i got platinum on one of the things uh, this one i wasn't used to the actual uh side quest so i got gold but gold's still pretty good so let's have a look probably just start of merit but we do get a level 100 critical defense thingy uh, fine armaments is just going to give us a stars of merit which is still good because we can use that to level up our uh, bow and hopefully something from the gift of Rohan. We actually got two essences both level 100 So not amazing for us. We'll probably just sell slash get rid of them, but we have new earrings uh, Earring wise we have earring of daily grind and dexterous carved earring of the Blomgard. So these are actually both level 120 um, stuff um, And it's one the okay, that's pretty good. We lose that fate So I'm probably gonna switch out for the dexterous carved ones but we get a lot more agility, so about 700 more agility, and we get about 1,000 more vitality. So, once again, we are very, very close, actually. In fact, this may be the push to get to 100,000 um, morale. 99,620. So, if we were to switch out this, we'd definitely go under uh, by quite a ways. In fact, if we do switch that out, we can see 98,000. That's only about, what, 1,500? But once we get a new, one new piece of armor that gives us a bit more vitality, we're pretty good on that front. Something else we have is, I, because I finally cleared out the inventory, I'm going to open these rare mortal treasures. Apparently I needed a bunch of inventory space for that. I guess it's just given me a bunch of, yeah, hides, mortal snag, uh, illithans. Yeah, it's basically just giving me a bunch of crafting materials. And for this one, it's just going to be the same. So it looks like it was one of those things where it's like, you need... What, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inventory spaces. But even though we had like stuff here, because it's gotta technically be able to open it. I get it's it's a little bit confusing with the way it does it, but it's it's there now. Anyway, <laughs> let's finally, after however long, look at that bugging out texture that was just there, and get on to actually doing this. So Tuka what I told them and may the information be of use to you. My people are often underestimated by the big folk, for that reason we can go where we might not. Oh, where well, they might not, and the remain but no notes of our observant eyes is useful skill. The one we are put to use in fight against Sauron and his armies. Uh, let no one say that the whole blood land have not lived up to their word or carried their share of the war's burden. I was walking in that air, looking towards uh, forward to a comfort of sleep when I heard a voice of a man in Gondor. His words were low and instinct. It took me some time to find the speaker who stretched out upon his bedroll like many other soldiers sleeping nearby. But unlike the others, he muttered in his sleep. He sat up all of a sudden, gave me quite a fright, and I greeted him, but he saw me not. Judging from his speech... He thought he heard a woman's voice he recognized from a sweetheart from home, seemingly. Uh, he walked out of the camp, stepping over the bodies of his sleeping fellows. Uh, by now, my curiosity was well and truly waked, and I followed him at a safe distance. Outside the camp, far from the guards and the light of the torches, he was attacked and subdued by a pair of Mordorim. Uh, they were well armed and dangerous looking knives. Uh, I dare not risk making myself known, so I could not rescue him, but I did follow them for a time. They got near to Amon Fuin, and I had to give up the pursuit. But I knew I needed to tell someone what I saw these Mordorim. Uh, use some trickery to lure him from safety camp, but who can say what evils await? 
him within Amon Fuin. Uh, that's all I know, but uh, is well defended, and even the signs of Vistil just should be aware of that place. That is the place we went to last time, was it not? Yeah, we did. So we know we know they're there, and it's a bit of a pain. Tuka's words make it clear. So they're not deserters; they were ensorcelled by the Cultists of Sauron. We call the Mordorim and then brought to Amphim the Gloom Hill for some fell purpose. They may be still alive. My father is in the council. There is no one else to attempt to rescue you. You must help me and my brothers save these missing men. Well, I do remember the words of Abrazani. Even now they move me to pity and to grief. Right, so up here you we'll see, finish your quest. And we have an instance. All is quiet. You are ready, to depart. You're ready as am I. Let us be off and quietly. Then let us be off That's what I said. Uh, we can be as loud as we like when we return with victorious, but for departure, silence is our ally. Right, let's head off and see what we can find in this area. Okay, so we have a thing here. All your allies must survive. We've never really had that issue before. I think maybe once we've had an ally get killed, and that was because they kind of stuck too far behind from an enemy. We didn't see, but uh, I think we should be good here. So defeat the lookouts upon uh, outside. Basically, yeah. Okay. So lookouts are upset. We should them quickly before they can raise the alarm. So we actually have a bit more um, agility, so we should have more damage output, which is kind of nice. And obviously we also have both these two helping us out. Interestingly, we only got one of them as our um, ally. That could be, like, I'm, I'm going to say it now just in case it does happen. That could be the potential of Ornaha dying. Because, I mean, normally you'd still have it there, and if they die just by dying, then it's fine. But it's just a little bit, like, you know, it would just be for story reasons. But it's curious that he specifically doesn't have a thing saying all your allies must survive so it's a little bit curious that that's the case so part of me wants to say that he's gonna die um you know i said it was quiet but this is curiously so yeah where is everyone we've been here before we know what's going on trolls weren't here it's just black numenorean warriors Unless we get ambushed. Not within the camp, but without. Maggle there. Uh, I saw you from afar and came to lend you my assistance you require. And this to a warning against this cause. Was this an excursion to Amonfuin, your idea, or that of the Sons of Isilda? It's true there's less activity here than there was a late but Amonfuin. Still a place of evil not being undefended. It seems to be an unwise course, and I beg you to convince these two to turn back, for the alliance will be worse for it should something befall them. We need to convince both of them. Uh, you understand we cannot allow good soldiers of the alliance to remain in torment and our uh, friend. We have no choice. It is up to the sons of Isilda to save them. It will not shrink from that purpose. And he just runs off. Uh, unexpected. He has to, I, I suppose we need to follow them. Their father will not look kindly upon us when we abandon them now, although it seems this to this observer that they were the ones who abandoned us. Even so, this is our duty. So Magaldir is now at our side. They've run in. Let's actually grab these just in case they're possible. Oh, I need another slot. Uh, what can I get rid of? I'm going to get rid of this Fangorn one because, I mean, it's been a while since I've been there. and I was planning on going back at one point, but I never did. Um, and we can always pick up that quest again. It was more just there, so I like remember to uh, to go back, but I think we'll be fine. I need to have a look. Uh, what I might do is try and like finish off some of the earlier ones. I mean, I can't really do like these, but stuff that's not going to give us XP necessarily, and um, or like get rid of some. And then I wanted to go through like I did a stream once where I went through and did like the areas I've already deeded in. I did them as um, uh, I did like all the extra quests that I missed last time so might do that again but only in the areas I've already done dealing episodes for because otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose of those 
But we'll see how it goes. That's interesting. I killed the cultists and it counted as black Numenorians. Not quite sure how that works. Right, both of them are there. Uridani Stone Maiden. Ooh, we know about Uridani. But yeah, these count as black Numenorians, which is interesting. Are they supposed to? They don't count as Moradrim. <laughs> or Mordorim. I guess Mordor. Him. Yeah. It's very weird that they would uh, do that though. But Uridani is here. Love in your face. Hmm. We're not afraid of you or your master. Were you seeing what she becomes? She becomes just a flaming figure. She has what's coming to her eventually. The men who come to Sauron's service come willingly. Alright, let's get ready for a fight. We're probably going to have to defeat these guys first. Or it's all of them. Oh no, it's just all the cultists first. But these guys only have like 70k. So these are actually going to be pretty easy ones to take care of. Magaldir doing an amazing job. I don't know if it's because I need to be hit. It's normally the way it goes for some of these things where they won't aggro till we get hit. He's doing an amazing job though. Your lackeys are no match. Just gonna set my trap. This one more probably won't get hit into it, so we'll just... That's heart secret. It's 120k. So, slay them yourself. Are they gonna just go? Interesting. We can't defeat Uridani here, though, because we know how it ends up for her, so... Apoxa, I do not need those cards before, and I do not need them now. I'll slay you myself and exult you in your demise. We need to, def to defeat Uridani, but I just want to make sure that my trap <laughs> works. Can you, can you just hit me? Like, hit me just, like, for one hit. You hit me. Okay. That was quick. Your life is at its end. Well, something's got to happen. But she lives and should not. Okay, good. We got rid of that. I'll remedy that now. Fear not. It wouldn't be the killing blow. She's got like all her morale back. Hmm. Mm -mm. I don't necessarily agree with that. We have killed so many enemies. Like, we have killed many a, an enemy to get here I've lost count of how many enemies I've defeated that really I don't really think that and I'm an elf as well so you know it's probably just like around the corner <laughs> oh, they won't see me here yeah not really uh, agreeing with them there I'll be honest where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you Quite unlike my brothers to disappear without saying a word to me, I fear some evil. I come for them. Um, 
Right. Do we hope this war would end soon? The fools we were. I think the end does come, but not from the form we wish. Alas, for the Great Alliance. So we need to... Where's this? Oh, it's just further up. So, uh, Meldoran is over here. You are friend to my brothers. You are friend then to me. Though we had no time to spend in greeting, I rode hard from the gate, and errand is not yet finished. Need drives me, and I will not let you uh, let me rest, for I will bring my report to the father, my father, the king. As my sister's long beards and Theoda of the North that stood against the uh, Runehoth have suffered a crushing defeat. The Eastling Horde was greater by far than we thought. Our allies have been t utterly defeated. They were to be our shield against the second army, but now the shield has fallen, and we lie exposed in the storm of the wrath. The Gazab Boron is on its way. I was at the Morannon when the wounded began to arrive. Weary men and dwarves, bloody and battered, the tale of their feet rate large upon mournful faces. I saw King Durin from afar, but even from such a distance I could see his face was ashen, and the fire of battle had gone out in him. I spoke with Hunaric, Hundred Slayer, Lord of Thuida, and my heart wept to hear his account of the battle of the king uh, on the fields. Okay. Tell my brothers I will see them after I deliver my message. So we need to go talk to Onaha. Has bested us. Yeah, not great. Uh, we can't despair. We must not worry. I see men casting down their weapons. We must stop them quickly. Tell the men it's not over. Tell them we must still fight. So we do this a lot. We must be like a really good motivational speaker because a lot of the time we are um, doing this. Oh, interesting. I... Okay, so we have... Where is this? Mordor Besieged. I'm going to get rid of these ones then. I thought we might be able to complete them uh, from where we were, but I'm not going to worry too much about it then. And we cleared out technically some space then. Um, so I'm going to try and do this quest, because this gives us new pauldrons, which is actually something we were chatting about, is the fact that, you know, this stuff's going to give us a little bit less fate, but we're actually going to get that vitality increase, which, if we complete that, we will get... Um, 100k experience. And we also got a few more quests here. Now, I wonder if... I'm going to get rid of Heraldry of the Elves. And then maybe these ones as well. And I'll also get rid of that, because... Why not? Have we can always time? come back here. Good. I could use someone like you. So we're going to have to spar... About maintaining weapons? Spar Do with this person, and gather blunt you. swords, and repair cumbling ramparts. So... That should be a lot of quests within this location. It's probably going to be another case where we use all our bonus XP up again, which is good. Um, it's not a problem doing that, it's just... You know, part of me is like, hey, I should... You know, I'm just going to... Um, like, I'll have to potentially wait and be like, hey, let's do this, uh, you know, with a XP tome next episode, but I think we should be fine. A little bit less bonus XP isn't going to really matter. It was when we had, like, a million bonus XP already um, that it was a problem, whereas this will only have, like, 300k? Probably, like, actually about, like, 100k, and then we'll probably just finish off uh, when these are done. We won't do the next quest after. So we can just hold on to them for the next episode. I might gather a few and just like stockpile them, like get like five, ten in my inventory, and just have it. Whereas like, if I need it one episode, I can just add that on. Um, or I could just get like ten, use them at the beginning of one episode, and then they're just there for the next X amount of time. And by the time we've gone through them, we'll. Uh, have it but also it's like it's a weird thing in my mind because it's like you know using outside sources to get more experience but we're already getting that bonus experience like from VIP if we weren't getting it from VIP I probably wouldn't do it at all um, but I think it kind of makes sense to me doing it that way just gathering like 10 things I'm interested about this new recruit we'll go talk to them in a second it should be good, because we're at least getting, like... So we're getting just sigils from this. In fact, we need to um, find a reputation vendor, is something that I actually was thinking about uh, last episode. So I actually want to check. There isn't even a reputation vendor. I just don't know what I can use these sigils on. That's my only thing. Um, I just don't know, yeah, what to use that on. It's a little bit weird. Um, what else am I doing grindstones over here that's what I was after 
Right, let's go down here, grab this crumbling rampart, which I uh, missed. How many more do we have to do? Uh, three more. Uh, so, I think there were two over here. Yeah. And there'll just be one over here somewhere. I hope. Yeah, there it is. So, sharpen some swords. So that's good. And then we got to spar with someone as well. But we'll see how that is uh, once we're done here. With all this. So yeah, it's not like giving us um, new armor. Which, well, I mean one of them is the new recruit one is, which is nice. Uh, but it's at least something uh, nice to do to get all the extra experience. The quicker we can level up, it's going to be pretty good. It'll be interesting if we can get to 130 relatively quickly uh, while there's a decent amount of um, content left and then we can just sort of work towards having this really really good gear for the first time in a while and then yeah we can just constantly be at 130 nothing will go out of like use and stuff um we can only like improve from there which will be nice and hopefully we won't have those sort of issues where we're like oh this is a really nice thing but it's like you know um you know, it's it's lower level, or it does this, or it doesn't do that, and it should be nice to uh, to do. I think it's definitely possible, considering how we've been doing with this uh, these quests and stuff, and especially if we do that um, enhanced XP time thing. It'll be a bit annoying, I think, partially to be doing quests without getting experience gains, but it means we can also like, you know, we don't have to push ourselves as far to get stuff. Um, Next one. I'm just gonna give in all these quests at the same time. We fight for a better day. We do. Let's use Heartseeker, because by the time I get to the next one, or potentially this might be the last one. Um, I don't know if it said. We're just trading soldiers. Generally. Oh, we do have more. I expect these to like last longer because I'm like, oh yeah, I'll use Heartseeker and you know, I'll have the, I don't even know what it is, it's got me more than a minute cooldown, like one minute ten I guess. Um, it's like, oh yeah, we'll take that long and we can use that as our first skill and by the time we get to the next, you know, soldier. Alright, one more enemy up here, well, enemy, battle. Oh, maybe not. There's the new recruit. Here they are. It's because that quest rings back. Because obviously there is a cooldown when you uh, cancel a quest of five minutes. Well, I don't know if it's five minutes or ten minutes. I had one the other day that was ten minutes. I've also had some that are five minutes, so I guess it might depend on the quest. Come on. Please just realize you can't defeat me, but also don't despair in the fact that you can't defeat me because I've been through a lot. Also, I'm from the future. Prepare for battle. I did ask to see the other thing. I, I don't know if this is supposed to be us, like, living as that hunter that Isilda was talking about, or if we're just, like, the story's being adapted for our sake. Because we're doing quite a lot for them, so it seems weird if we were just, like... You, it seems like we must be replacing that... Hunter in the story. I think we, I think it did say in the last one where it was like, "Did you meet this hunter and Magaldir to uh, Salaborn? Not Salaborn. Uh, Glorfindel. That was it. I'm not sure. Are you going to be the last one? Because it's taken quite a while. For, uh, I've like gone to every single named soldier in this area. It's basically a case of every other soldier I can use Heartseeker on. But the, the problem with using Heartseeker is, by using it, I get through the battle quicker. So then I've got less time to worry about the cooldown. Hey, there we are. So I thought it would be the last one. Then we'll speak with this new recruit, go and see what they want us to do. Um, we fight together. Oh, I've already done them. Well, that was perfect. That's a really easy quest completion in theory, assuming we don't have to do anything else. If we have to do another quest, then maybe we might leave it for the next episode. But that's 
pretty easy. Pretty, pretty chill. I'm just going to whistle so he's here. Come on. There we are. And then we'll just complete these. And then I need to assist more people at Ekad in Edil, which we will do probably in the next episode. So we'll have that one just there, but not actually a huge point. Okay, so remind the men of Alliance about Narsil, the Sword of Elendil, and remind the Elves of the Alliance. Okay. Just wanted to check whether or not we had to go to uh, this area. But apparently we don't. I think we should be good. I think we're alright. And then hopefully... Well, when we've done this, we'll finish off for the day. And then next episode... Yeah, there are some elves. Uh, next episode, we'll go do uh, helping Durin at the other area. Because that makes sense to me. And it's an upgrade to our stuff again. So we're not going to get to 100k today. But next episode should be uh, 100k morale. Which is pretty impressive for us. I do say so myself. Right, apparently there is another elf over here. I don't see him. I'm going to hope there's just one down here, which it looks like there is. Because that quest ring is not what we're after. There's a frightened elf. Cool. Because that quest ring is him, which... Is one of the reasons I want to like just pick it up again? Because it's like I didn't have to get rid of it. I could have got rid of those other quests, and it would have been fine. Um, and we lost two kills towards the total, but it's fine. So we're not going to quite hit our bonus experience today, but it's kind of good to not overshoot it because then we are wasting technical experience. I have learned there is to be a council of the kings. We shall discuss what can be done about the Gaza Boron. My brother will likely be permitted to attend, but I will not. You asked what I wanted for my birthday, and I told you I wanted nothing, but now I know what I want for my birthday present. I want this. I want to attend the council. There are limits to Isildur's even-handedness. Okay, so we need to collect a badge from a hopeful orc patrol leader, a Mord uh, Mordorim hopeful, and an Easterling hopeful. Now that Mordorim one is Oh, okay, I thought it might be, like, in here, so I was going to be a bit worried. But that's actually fine. We've got to go to uh, that area anyway, so we've got to go to um, Ekad in Edhill anyway. So that's fine for us, because we'll, we'll complete, what, we've got three quests? So we need to defeat ten foes in just this area, generally. And then we have to, uh, we've got to do two quests, it looks like. So Heraldry of Durin the Fourth. And Sauron's presence upon Path Denath, um, which I'm not sure if that's a quest that we had. It sounds familiar to the one we had, so but those didn't open up till we had the new recruit quest, so probably not. But we'll go over there for the next episode, do that, collect these hopeful badges, hopefully get this new, um, you know, these new pauldrons, which will be really nice. So that'll be another upgrade. It's weird that the uh, the levels are lower, but it's overall an upgrade we do lose a teeny bit of fate but the vitality increase and the agility increase we do lose a bit of armor but i think it's just good because we'll get that agil um well no no sorry we gain armor i was looking at the wrong thing um we gain agility so we in increase damage and we also uh, gain vitality which will put us over that hundred thousand morale threshold which will be pretty damn cool as a milestone so that will be next episode i'm gonna see if i got enough stars of merit to get a uh, thing for this bow as well to level up the uh, thing to be higher and I'll possibly see if I can do another epic battle if not uh, if I don't have enough stars of merit and hopefully that pushes us over the edge but that's gonna be it for now thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode bye bye